today's video is going to be another simple, quick makeup tutorial. I actually got inspired by this Olivia Cook photo I saw on her Instagram the other day. I'm gonna put it up right here. That's why I'm wearing this top. And I'm pretty sure she's wearing the same makeup look in this photo as well. So I wanted to do like my own version of that. I wanted to do something inspired by these photos. And so it's just an inspiration. It's just an inspiration because this look doesn't really look like this all that much. But I wanted to do like a sultry, sexy version of this where she has kind of like some matte purple eyes. It's like a soft, soft mauve. Very soft. Mine is a little less soft. And she has just such a pretty blush and lip color. So I wanted to do something similar. And so this is the look I came up with. And honestly, I wanted to do something inspired by her because Olivia Cook is the number one celebrity comparison I get. Like I, 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 I think I read one comment a day. I think I read at least one comment a day where somebody tells me I look like Olivia Cook, which I think is such a compliment because she's so gorgeous, but I don't think I look like her. I honestly think it's because of our foreheads. We kind of have like big foreheads. If I do this, I think I kind of see it like in this picture. I'm gonna put up right here. I kind of see it, but honestly, I think that's what it is. I think it's our foreheads <laughs> because that seems to be the case with a lot of celebrities I get compared to. Christina Ritchie. I think her name is Jade from Little Mix. I'm not sure if it's Jade. It's one of the girls from Little Mix, probably the one with the biggest forehead. Um, Christina Ricci, also big forehead. Like we have six heads. So there's like a theme there. <laughs> I think she's so, so pretty. So I wanted to do a look inspired by her, even though when you see me right now, you're not like, oh my God, Olivia Cook. <laughs> not at all. But it's still such a fun look and you can actually go bare on the eyes and then do the rest of the routine. And it's such a pretty like fresh summery look when you don't have such a sultry eye. I think it's like perfect for the summertime, especially this lip. I love this lip. So juicy. And yeah, my brows are a little bit more bold than I usually go because Olivia's brows aren't like so feathery like mine. Well, mine are not feathery. I draw them feathery. She has like a nicer bold brow and I haven't used like a regular brow product in so long. So I miraculously found this in my collection. This is the Dior, Dior Show Brow Styler, probably like super expired. But I applied that to my brows and then I took a little bit of the Color Wow root cover up like for your roots and I added that to my brows and then I went in with the Glossier Boy Brow to like set it in place. And yeah, that's how I got my brows. But yeah, okay, I think that's it. Let's get on with this look. Wow, these eyebrows are so 2015 Kathleen. If you've been here for a long time, do you remember when I used to do my eyebrows like this? Well, actually I used to do them way more intense. This is like a toned down version, which is nuts. I can't picture myself having brows like this anymore. Okay, so I've already primed my skin with my Tower 28 Rescue Serum, and now I'm gonna use the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation, but I'm gonna be mixing a lot of this with it because this foundation is way too dark for me, like way too dark. So I'm gonna mix it in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer. And this little cocktail makes a very long wearing formula. So I'm kind of doing like half and half. A little bit more of the Estee Lauder Double Wear though. Well, not a little bit more. It's just so much thinner than the house ones, but I did do equal parts. It's still um, too dark for me though. This foundation, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go a little heavy on the under eye concealer <laughs> because she's actually not too tan in this look, but we'll make it work, we'll make it work. Okay, so she does seem to have kind of like a bright under eye, but it's nothing too intense or extreme. You can just tell that there's like a little bit of light catching underneath her eyes. So I'm gonna go in with my Naked Quickie Concealer from Urban Decay. And kind of even out the whole face since I know this is a bit lighter than my foundation. I had no idea I wasn't recording. Um, I basically just applied my Kosa's Cloud Set Powder in Airy all over my face, but I didn't pack it on. I just used 
kind of like a fluffy brush. Since this concealer is a little bit heavy, I don't want to like pack the powder on top since I have very dry skin. But just a light layer does the trick. And her skin is kind of matte in this look. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some contour and bronzer. I'm gonna contour with my Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm Face Palette, just like a very slight contour, and then warm up the skin a little bit with my Drawn In Bronzer from Ilia. I'm gonna add a little bit of this powder with my little beauty blender puff underneath my contour. Her blush is this really pretty pink, but it has a little bit of like a purple undertone. Like barely there, kind of like a berry undertone. And so I'm going to take a little bit of my Buxom Havana blush, just a little bit of this, and I'm going to lay it down as like the base, but I'm going to dust off the glitter. There is like some silver glitter in this, but doesn't super translate on the skin. As long as you dust it off, you should be good. So I want to apply this shade first and then I'm going to go over it with kind of a little bit more of a, a glowy blush. And that is the Hourglass Luminous Flush Blush, which looks like this. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and dust it right on top. And there's just something about these ambient lighting powders that just looks so soft and angelic on the skin. Like there's no sheen, but it's almost like a glowing matte. And I feel like that's the look her skin has in this look. Do you see the difference? I love this blush. Okay, for the eyes, first I'm going to take my uh, Disco Fox palette and I'm going to take the shade Boogie Shoes all over my lid, everywhere. Okay, so her look in the picture is very like purpley mauve, but still seems like everything is matte. So I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette, I love this palette, and I'm just gonna mess around with the purpley mattes in here. I'm gonna mix a little bit of Serenity, Cherished, and Happiness. Okay, now I'm gonna take Radiate, which is a lot more gray, and apply that on top because her look is like purpley taupe. Okay, I'm gonna add those colors to my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go back into my Disco Fox palette and I'm gonna take the cooler tone brown and create a bold liner around my whole eye, but like with eyeshadow. Okay, 
Now I'm gonna go in with the warmer brown and kind of do the same thing, but be a little less messy. Alright, I'm curling my lashes. Okay, I just turned orange. My lighting, dude. And then after I'm gonna apply my Makeup Forever The Professional Mascara. I am running so late to my live stream. Oh my god. Okay, the reason I'm applying this mascara is because the lower lash mascara is like really, really good. You can see in her photo that, oh, I messed that up. She either has like falsies on her lower lash line or they painted the lashes on the lower lash line, which I was gonna do, but I don't have time. So I'm just popping on this mascara. Oh my god, it's 5.53 and I have to be on my live stream at 6 and I have to take off all my nail polish. Holy crap. And we haven't done our lip. Oh my god. Okay, I really love the lip she's wearing. It's like a raspberry juicy moment. So I'm gonna be taking the One Size Beauty Lip Snatcher Lip Liner in Shy But Fly and then I'm gonna top it off with the Alamar Cosmetics plumping lip water and this creates the most beautiful juicy like raspberry lip ever Now this starts to adjust to like your pH levels, is that how you say it? And it does get deeper as you wear it. It is a plumping little gloss, so it will continue to get more intense, but that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm back from the live stream. Oh, I was watching the A3 podcast. I'm back from my live stream, but that's, that completes this video. I couldn't even end it, I was so late. Actually, I wasn't that late. I was only one minute late, and I had to take off my nail polish. So yeah, guys, oh, there's a fly in here. That completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Very simple. And even though it doesn't look like her look, I really love this lip with this blush and like the purple eyes. I, I really like this look. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see from me next. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.